What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Taking a Risk with George George. On today's episode, I get Evelyn all to myself. She's not feeling very well, so I got her to stay home from school and I'm taking her to a place that's very special to me. So stay tuned to find out where it's at. Well, we just got to the park entrance and it looks like it's closed. Oh no, what are we gonna do? Oh no, we're not gonna sit in quiet. We're gonna try and find another way around. Does that sound good? <laughs> All right, so one of the really cool features about this wonderful old wagon, I know we mentioned it in another video, but look at how slim it closes up to. Like this literally will fit in just about any trunk. And then to release it, it's just a quick little pop, pull, push locked in place like look at this bad boy this thing is definitely worth it do you love your wonder wagon she's nodding yes all right madam your chariot is here where'd you go where did you go you little sneak are you in the trunk i see you you're so stinking cute are you ready to go yeah. i want to take you somewhere super special all right let's hop in the cart all right here comes dad are you ready? Oh, let me get a little bit closer. I know you have amazing ninja warrior skills, but let me get closer just in case. Let's lift this up. All right, there you go. It is such a beautiful day, right? Don't you think it's such a beautiful day? <laughs> All right, you so stinking cute. Hey, where are you going without me? Can you read where we are? Look, the sign is right there. Can you read it? It says, the Columbus Park of Roses. Hands down, one of my favorite parks in Columbus because I literally love roses. My mom is named Rose, my daughter Evelyn right here, her middle name is Rose, which is after my mom, which is after the flower, the flower of course. So absolutely excited to be here. It has been a very long time since I've been here and it's, it's like mid-September right now, so I don't think there'll be any roses, but we'll, I'm sure there will be. I still have roses growing in my garden, which is pretty neat. So we'll see if we can get lucky. I believe the garden is this way. So let's go see if we can find some pretty roses. This place is absolutely magnificent. I think, in my opinion, I would rate this as one of the highest, uh, like a five star, pretty much. Uh, parks that we have here in Columbus just because of the beauty and the smells and there's so much to do up here So let's get to it. Are you so excited to go see some beautiful flowers just like you? That better not be thunder. No, that is like a plane taking off. Holy moly. All right Let's see if we can figure out how to get up there. I think the only path is this path It looks like there's not really I mean that is a ramp, but it has a stair at the same time ah, What? <gasps> Chipmunk! You found a critter! Oh, he was adorable. Good eyes. Look at that. You saw that in the back of your head. All right, hold on. It's going to be a bumpy ride. We got to get up this mud path hill. Uh oh, everybody's getting motion sickness. All right, I got to do this with one hand. Ah! Oh, wow, we made it. That was a lot easier than I thought. This wonderful wagon is wonderful. That's for sure. And maybe that's why it's actually called wonderful because it folds up so small. That makes so much sense. Yeah. Wow, yeah. All right. Whew. Now that I got my workout, we're on the trail. Good. And uh, yeah, I don't know why they had that one entrance closed. I thought that was super weird. What did you think? Were you upset when we came to that entrance and it was closed? Yeah. Yeah, but you know your dad has other ways around things, right? We just yeah. drove through somebody's backyard and got here. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Hey, should I grab some of these for you? Or are you gonna be able to hold it this time? game. <laughs> All right, so there's the first peak of the Rose Garden coming around this bend here. It looks like there are still plenty of roses. I am super excited and super excited for you and super excited for all of you watching at home. This is going to be such an amazing experience. And uh, funny enough, uh, back in my single days a long, long time ago, oh man, over over a decade now it feels like. Not really though. Uh, I actually brought, oh wow, they have the fountain on. I don't think I've ever seen the fountain on. Uh, I actually came here on a date one time and it went very well. So, fellas, if you're in the area and you'd like to court uh, a lady or a fella, if that's what you're into, 
uh, the Park of Roses. Definitely highly, highly recommended. Look at these, Evelyn. Look at these beautiful roses. Oh my goodness. Hey, we're gonna we're gonna look, but we're not gonna touch, right? Yeah, look at that. Oh man, the sun is coming out. It is so beautiful here today. What kind of roses are these? Usually they have signs somewhere. They're like a pinkish white. That is so pretty, pretty. Let's see if I can get a whiff. Oh man, that's nice. That's nice. Here, sniff daddy's nose. Can you smell it? No? Does it smell like breath? I'm sorry. Hot breath in the morning. All right, that's what I was talking about. Just uh, several feet down from where I just was. It tells you what these are. These are hybrid tea, special occasion hybrid tea. And for those of you wondering, because you can see that she's covered up in a blanket, it is extremely warm this morning. It's got to be like 75, probably almost 80. And I'm in a uh, long t-shirt and jeans. I really shouldn't be, but it's that time of year where it's freezing in the morning. Well, not really freezing, but it's cool. Cool in the morning and then warm or hot in the afternoon. Look at this. This is one of my favorites. This is the Oh-So-Easy Lemon Squeezy. That's really what they should have named. I don't know why they didn't just name it the Oh-So-Easy Lemon Squeezy. But it's the Lemon Zest Shrub. And actually, if, I think if you pull one of these, you'll smell lemons, but I'm not going to do that. Actually, I wonder if, if you squeeze it, if you can smell lemons. No, it just smells like do in the morning because it is pretty early right everybody's at school or daycare mommy's at work and you and dad just get to hang out huh are you gonna perk up do i need to get you some coffee <laughs> all right so it's pretty obvious that the roses are definitely going out of season but look you've got plenty of buds that are still gonna come in hopefully eventually pretty soon i've never seen the uh, orange ones and they're beautiful i absolutely love them uh, at home, I do have primroses, which I believe that's what this bush is. It's a primrose bush of some sort. And um, that's usually how they start. They start in that bulb right there, and then they turn into a flower. And there's usually dozens of them. Do you love our roses? You're so silly. One of the many things I love about this park is that Albert Einstein, one of my famous, favorite mathematicians, said to look deep into nature and then you will understand everything better and this right here is the prime example of looking into nature uh oh I made you look right into the Sun that's not what I meant to do bad dad not too far from where Albert Einstein said look into nature you've got the Dalai Lama the purpose of our lives is to be happy of course hey being with you makes me super happy are you happy when you're with me you promise are you going to say it or are you just going to keep nodding? <laughs> I think she's happy. Are we going to have fun? <laughs> Without my mom. Without your mom? Oh, that's not nice, but hey, I'll allow it. My mom not with us. Yeah, your, mom, your mom's not with us. Do you know where we are yet? Where are we? Park. Yeah, what kind of park? park of roses can you say roses you can try can you try and say roses okay Evelyn I'm gonna really need you to uh, rose to the occasion if you don't mind all right and right over here we've got a lot more roses than we've seen you can definitely take a look around you can see all the rose bushes are without rose oh there's some beautiful pink ones that we walked right past Oh man, those are gorgeous. There's the sign right there. Let's take a peek at those first. What are we looking at here? The Marijik Koopman HT. Marijik? Yeah. Marijik! You're so cute. Evelyn, sweet Evelyn. Yes, yes, yes. Evelyn, sweet Evelyn. Rose is pink, champagne is too. I really like wine, but I love you. <laughs> Thank you. Are you having fun? What do you want to go do next? Park. More, more park, all right. More park, you heard it, folks. She runs this train. 
So all these cute little red roses, which I think they are, they're super duper good. They almost look like carnations to me. These are the Nicholas shrubs. They really do, they really look like carnations. I wonder if they smell like carnations. They all just smell like morning dew. All right, there you go. You picked the dead one to smell. You wanna smell on a live one? <laughs> you don't like it? All right, let's go to the next one. Here, there's one literally right here. Can you grab that one and smell it? Be gentle. Watch out for thorns. Be very gentle. Here, let me help. Here, smell this one. Better? What do you think, one thumbs up or two thumbs ups? Oh, we got like a 65 degree thumbs up. Nice, not bad at all. Coming up to one of the other pillars, I noticed that Gertrude Jekyll, I don't believe she has any association with uh, Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde, but she does say that a garden is a grand teacher. It teaches patience and careful watchfulness, which is absolutely right. And funny enough, you know, it doesn't just mean a physical garden, it could also mean a family. You know, your kids, they're your garden. You seed them, you watch them grow, you make them into what you want them to be. And the next pillar over kind of plays into the same thing, which I love. This one states, if you have a garden and a library, you have everything you need by Marcus Tullius Cicero. And of course he didn't add love to that, but I mean, I, I think people need love. I think a lot of people need love. I think there needs to be more love actually, more love just everywhere. So definitely a family is like a garden in my opinion. Just gotta get that library now. Are you already done? Are you done with this park? Hmm? Are you done with this park? <laughs> you're so cute, but you're missing this, these amazing, beautiful flowers that I just found. I don't think they're roses, and there's no sign that tells you what they are. These are absolutely stunning. My goodness, I love these. I don't think it's these ones, because I'd imagine they'd look like those. And These are definitely roses, those are definitely not. These are the Chessie's favorite minis. That's those ones right here, but I still don't know. Don't see a sign of what these could be. Oh man, Evelyn, do you see that one? Hold on, let me get you closer. Be careful, watch out for thorns. I don't know if you're allowed to be smelling this one. This is the in the mood hybrid tea. Mm, yeah, I don't know if I should be letting you smell this one, but I'll definitely take a whiff of it. Oh my goodness, that smells like a rose, huh? That is wonderful. Be careful. No, don't smell that part. <laughs> smell the middle. Probably, I know we've done this a lot today, but you always have to stop and smell the roses. No, you don't want to smell the roses? Oh no, I'm on my own. Oh man, that's okay. I don't mind. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness, that is absolutely wonderful. So even though I'm here not technically in season, of the roses, oh my goodness, there's still several in bloom and they smell wonderful. This aisle has definitely had a lot more blooms than the first two, and here we're coming up on some more. These ones are huge and beautiful. I am loving these. Got to get a whiff of this one. Oh my goodness, yes. Yes, 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 the apricot nectar. And I don't know if the FL stands for Florida, but oh man, is that a gorgeous flower or what? Here's a beautiful little bud coming in. And another beautiful specimen right there. Oh my goodness, look at how delectable looking that is. That is wonderful. I see you over there. Are you ready to have some fun? Nope, you're still gonna be shy guy. Love you anyways. Check it out, folks. The chick from the Willy Wonka movies got her own flower. It's Violet's Plot Pride Floribunda. Floribunda. I don't know if it's this one. It has to be this one. Look at that beautiful purple flower. I'm going to take a whiff. Hey, I was coming to give you a whiff, and it looks like you locked me out. The sun is on that side, though, you crazy kid. Ha ha. <laughs> you are so naughty. In Arabic, we call you Shetty. You are very Shetty. You're like that cute, naughty, little, rambunctious baby. Does so many cute things, but you're very, very naughty, so you're shy. Look at that, look at your hair. <laughs> Who did your hair this morning? Definitely not me. You woke up looking like that, huh? Over here, we just came from over there, so we came this way, and over here, there's this huge, it just looks like a giant shrub, and it's funny because it's actually called the Generous Gardener Shrub. So, uh, 
not, that's that's pretty big. These honestly look like the roses that I have. At least this stem does right here. This huge one, but I love that reddish color that it's turning. That is so pretty. What do you think? Is that pretty or what? You look up. <laughs> All right, this next bush, right next to the uh, generous gardener shrub, is the screaming neon red shrub. I wish we could have seen it in bloom, but it's definitely turning red, at least on the tips, but that humidity is thick, ain't it? It definitely is, look at that. You can see the fog in the air over there, fog over there. If I had glasses, they'd be foggy. Yeah. Did you see the caca caca? Did you see it? Caca, caca. Okay. Is that a caca, caca? Yeah. Yeah. What do you call them? <laughs> Sassy. Oh man, just came around from that screaming neon red and I found this beautiful rock just in this little clear out right here. If I was still in school and I needed a place to study, oh man, this would be it. I could even bury some treats over there for later. What do you think? You're already eating something. Don't eat that. Don't eat that. <laughs> Check out this beautifully carved rock or boulder technically in the shape of a rose. It's even got the rose leaves on the side. Leaf leaves. Leave me alone. I don't know how to say it. But here we are. We're at the middle just about getting to that fountain. There is so much to explore. So much to do. So much to see. So we're gonna take uh, this way. Let's see what we can find. Absolutely wonderful over here. Of course, all the flowers are gone, but still I see something in the back that I'm super excited to get to. I've never even noticed that in this park. And I've been here maybe two or three times before. So this isn't a first visit, but this is still, every time I come here, there's something new, something wonderful to see. And oh, look, they've got something held up right there. Maybe trees. These bushes are beautiful. That is a beautiful bush. Some raspberry kiss flowers. Oh look, there's one little one coming through. We're a little bit too early, but that is beautiful. Oh my goodness, look Evelyn, we found some ruby ayat. I think that's how you pronounce it. Look at you, you little monkey. You gonna jump out? All right, go ahead. All right, tell me what it smells like. Yeah. You want me to smell it? Oh my goodness. Gosh, I love that smell, don't you? All right, let's go check out this herb garden. Why is this red? Why is it red? Because it's a red rose. Technically, I think it's pink, but we're not going to debate or split hairs. All right, I 100% was not expecting to find a huge herb garden. This thing is massive, and I am super duper excited to go through and see what we even have growing here. Cowslip? Cowslip. Never heard of that. And as a lot of you know, I have a culinary background. And I have heard of Sherville. Yeah, there's names. There's names all along this. Isn't that super duper cool? Do you want to see if we can find your name? Hopefully your name's not in here because I see a lot of these are in memory of, but I'm sure somebody who has a similar name to you might be in here. Check it out. We've got bronze fennel, which I've never heard of the bronze version, but I love fennel. Oh, that anise is some of the best anise you'll ever get in your life right there. That lovage, you gotta love the lovage or the marjoram. I don't think I've ever used marjoram in anything. Maybe I have, I don't know. What else do we have? Oh wow, some horseradish, look at that. I've never seen it fully grown before. I wonder how spicy it is in plant form. It's gotta be more spicy, I feel like. Oh wow, oh my goodness, I might just come here. Why go to the grocery store? Look at that, you got garlic chives. Some beautiful garlic chives growing in here. Oh look, they even flowered. That's something I don't think I've ever seen either. Some flowering garlic herbs. And check out, oh I see you. I see you, Sneak. Look at this beautiful big old boy of a tree. That thing is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. And you, monkey. <laughs> Are you ready to come alive? You wanna go look at some herbs? Yeah, we're going that way. Let's go. How did I almost miss the lemon time? It's lemon time, baby. I'm, it's lemon time. It's lemon time. No, don't do that. Lemon me. Lemon me time. <laughs> oh, we got some common time. It's common time. It's common time. It's common down time. Not coming down time. <laughs> what else have we got? We got some dill. 
Do you like dill pickle? Yeah. You like pickles? How do you say pickles? Do you say it louder? Ah, pickles! Good job. Wow, I love pickles. Oh, look, some rosemary. Wow, this is huge compared to the one I have at home. Like this one actually looks like a little tree. Oh man, I wonder if mine will do that. Oh, there we go. Some caraway. I like caraway seeds. Some salad. Burn it. Uh, every time I've cooked a salad, I've definitely burnt it. So. I understand where that gets its name and wow look at these welsh onions these are massive it looks like a cactus almost i don't know what's going on over here but these are beautiful look at that it almost looks like giant fairy nests almost like this would be a wonderful place i was thinking about it like that right there this middle part would be a beautiful place to propose in the spring of you little bird <laughs> you're trying to be cute huh you don't have to try i know you're cute oh wow look at that you got some red beautiful I don't know what that is, but that's beautiful. Let's see if we can find a name for it. There we go, apple mint. No, that's what that is. What's this one though? Apple mint, I've never heard of that. That's pretty cool. This might just be something wild that's just growing. Yeah, we're gonna try and look at all of these. Holy moly, there's so many, and you know your dad loves herbs. We're gonna be here all day. Yes. How long do you wanna be here for? The whole night. The whole night? Hey, <coughs> I am perfectly fine with that. That is definitely my daughter. Guess what time it is again? It's lemon time. It's lemon time. It's lemon time. It's lemon time. <laughs> <laughs> it's lemon time, you crazy kid. <laughs> Check it out, folks at home. Tea bed. The plants featured in this bed have been used for pleasure and medicinal teas and to flavor wines, beers, and liqueurs. It says, warning, many of these plants are not considered to be safe today. Please follow current recommendations on the safety of any specific plant before using it. There are warnings associated with some of them for diabetics, pregnant women, infants, and allergy sufferers. Oh no. I know at one point they were drinking hemlock like it was something to do, and they finally found out that it's not something to do. It's something that'll put you in an early grave. So definitely, I'm sure there's probably hemlock in here. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully not. But I'd like to see some actually coming off of that fairy nest i looked over went past of i think that's theresa's bug net which is pretty cool i didn't know that that doesn't look, really look like a bug net to me but i'm sure it works perfectly fine if it's named that check it out a hidden gazebo this park just keeps on showing how amazing it is and of course these little archways that are vine covered are so super duper beautiful look at that they're blooming look at all the flowery bushes bushels i guess i should say philip vandersail absolutely gorgeous i can't wait to get into there so let's get that what chocolate peppermint there's a chocolate peppermint plant i do not like to pick anything but i am super tempted to see what a chocolate peppermint plant smells and potentially tastes like but let's uh let's uh heed that warning sign and not eat anything check it out folks there's monkeys in this park somewhere i hear them all right, they stopped, but look at these beautiful long um, no. tube flowers. And believe it or not, oh look, there's a creature on top of this one. Let's see if I can, there he is. Type of little worm or caterpillar. That is beautiful. These smell a lot like peppermint. One of my favorite variations of mint is the, is the cat mint. Not necessarily the Walker's Low. I don't think I've ever heard of Walker's Low, but yes, this is cat mint. Can you believe cats have their own ver version of mint? Super cool, huh? I'm gonna touch. You wanna touch? Uh, no touch. Yes. No. Yes. No. No! No! You little monkey. All right, be gentle. All right, now smell your fingers. Yummy? <laughs> I don't know what the heck these are, and one of them is even shriveled, but look at these. These look like little peppers of some sort. The sign is over there. I can't go through this fence. We'll get to that in just a second. Actually, I see an exit right there. Let's go check that out. But before we do that, we've got this wild Lily Oda Valley. Love me some Lily Oda Valley. Yes, Lily Oda Valley. Yes! Believe it or not, it's Lily Oda Valley and Oris Root. They're siblings. From the Grand Shire. Ouch. All right, just got over to that sign, and it is Sweet Woodruff Gallium Odorantum. So that's what these are. These are sweet woodruffs, and I wonder if they actually are sweet. Ooh, right next to the spice bush over there. What'd you find? They're pokey. Ooh, that's cool. Those are very nice. 
right over here, look at this beautiful stone. It says a rose. She is to all of us a beauty, rising gently through the earth, saying not a word. So still she stands immortal now at rest in God's good hands. That is beautiful. <gasps> What's on you? Uh-oh. Hope you're not having an allergic reaction. Oh, gorgeous right here. Another one of my favorites is the sage. Ooh, this is the Russian sage. And what? What is that? Did they really have those back then? Whorehounds? Huh. Oh, and fox. Fox glove. That's very neat. And penny royals? Oh, and regular lavender. That's the one I should have should have come to first. Ooh, look, bloody dock. Yes, that does say dock. What? And gas what? plant. That must be uh, what your mom eats a lot. All right, how do you feel after leaving the uh, herb garden? Yeah, you keep looking around. You didn't have an allergic reaction, but you're still looking around. Maybe a little bug bit you. That's not good. But let's go see what we can find over here. We're just getting past that field, heading to that fountain, which I've never seen. I've never seen the fountain yeah, up. Big bee bite me. All you think right, a big I'm... bee bit you? I would never let a big bee bite you. That. I would never. Right, right over here we've got some beautiful yellow flowers. Oh look, and then a cucumber beetle coming right out of there. Those stinky little pests. Oh no, more than one cucumber beetle. Oh, they make me want to squish them. Those are critters I do not care for. Yeah, you better get out of here. All right, you're gonna have to reach. Come on, you wanna smell it? No, there's no more. Here, I'll smell it. Oh, there is more, there's lots more. Ah! I'm still gonna smell it. Oh, not very fragrant. You tell me what you think. What? Yeah. Did Not you like much. it? Did you like it? Yeah. All right, we're right up against that fountain, which is absolutely gorgeous. I love that the roses around the fountain are still bloomed. I think that's really neat. But check this out. I don't know if somebody just forgot this. It looks like a baby blanket, but this could also be a memorial to Samuel G. Clark. It doesn't say. Let me see if it says on the other side. No? So I'm just going to assume maybe a mom left this. Let's see if it's wet. It's been raining. Oh, yeah, that's been here. For a while that's that's pretty soaked strange the weird things we find in the rose park huh yeah. yeah super weird oh you gotta love that sound and look at this little critter i just found check out that cute little spider i think that's the happy face spider if i could get a better angle on it you'd see that on its butt looks like a little happy face there it is you got a quick glimpse of it it went upside down but that's pretty cool it's got Two little eyes and then a, like a smile on its butt and it's pretty cool. They're non-poisonous, I don't believe. Uh, so there's no issue being that close to them, especially with the kids. So check this out. Absolutely gorgeous. You hate to see it. There's a little bit of litter right there. Plastic bottle just floating around. And then the, the unnecessary vandalism. Why would you come to a beautiful place like this and decide to yourself that I have to destroy something in this wonderful, beautiful place? I'm glad they don't destroy the roses. That's, of course, uh, better that they don't do that but still oh look at those I see some pretty orange flowers let's go over there absolutely beautiful I don't think ever in my life I've seen a naturally growing orange rose I have seen them in the stores but I never assumed they were natural because you can use like food coloring and stuff to change the color of white roses after you pick them but oh my goodness oh wow it literally smells like oranges Oh, wow, and look, there's other ones. Oh, there's so many of those cucumber beetles. I didn't know they liked roses like that. I've got roses in my front yard, and I don't think... Oh, yeah. Oh, look at this one. This one is beautiful. The Chris Everett HT. Hmm. Check this out. Oh, this one doesn't have a smell. Oh, Evelyn, did you get a smell of the orange one? You don't have to sneak back in. You're allowed out of there. I don't know why you've just been sitting in there. Did you smell the orange one? Is it so good? It literally smells like an orange creamsicle, huh? So good. Oh, wow, and not too far from those beautiful orange flowers, we've got the Tropicanas, and man, do these look wonderful. Take a sniff. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Mmm, 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 that. Jeff's kiss on those. Check out that big one right there. I like smelling them when they're first uh, freshly bloomed like that one. You can just tell because of the size. This one too, that one's really pretty. These later 
um, aged ones tend to lose their scent a little bit. I have been so distracted since coming here. I'm literally turning around and seeing things that I walked right past that I didn't see, but look at this. At last, I found it. At last, I've got to get a sniff of some at last. Oh yeah, that is beautiful. Hello, little friend. Oh, he's on my screen. All right, see you later. He took a dump on my screen. That cucumber beetle just took an orange dump on my screen. Oh man, what a beautiful day. Look at that. Cloud coverage is coming in. The sun is somewhere over there, you can tell. It's not as bright as it just was, huh? That sun, that cloud came in and covered up that sun. Feels a lot cooler, huh? Hey, your dad's sweating over here. We might have to cut this trip early. You're probably hungry too, huh? You wanna go get breakfast? All right, let's go do that. One more little critter before we go. Oh no, he may have just disappeared. There he is. Check it out, folks, a black squirrel. Look at that. He's got a bald spot on his other side. How weird. I saw one coming in and I tried to point it out to Evelyn, but it was too fast. So there you go, Evelyn. There's your black squirrel. All right, folks, that's it for this video. You heard the boss. She needs her breakfast. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Taking a Risk, this channel, of course. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it. Give it a thumbs up. And uh, in the comment section below, let me know what you'd like to see next. There's tons of parks here in Ohio. I'll definitely be checking out uh, some on my own, but I'd always love suggestions. And uh, me and Evelyn would really appreciate it. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye. And right before I get off, here is a look at my one beautiful rose that's growing right now. Bloomed about a week ago, maybe a little bit less, maybe four or five days ago, but, oh man, does that have an amazing smell.